For the better part of a decade, the rule of thumb on any job site was simple. If you wanted the smartest dozer in the dirt, you bought a caterpillar. This D6 right here is a perfect example, a beast of technology loaded with features like auto carry and stable blade that basically do the work for you. It's the standard, the machine that has defined the mid-sized dozer class for a generation. It's a legacy built on raw power, rock solid reliability, and a dealer network that's second to none. But lately there's been a whisper making the rounds, a buzz about a new silent giant. You're hearing it from operators, even die-hard cat loyalists. They're talking about the new Komatsu D71. They say the cab's so quiet you can actually hear yourself think, and the visibility's so good you can see both corners of the blade without even craning your neck. This isn't just another Challenger, it's a machine engineered from a totally different playbook. So today, we're settling it. This is a showdown between automated brains and operator-focused brawn. We've got two brand new machines, a full day on a real job site, and a mountain of dirt that isn't going to move itself. Is the smartest dozer on the market the best, or is the one with the most intuitive, comfortable operator experience the true king of the hill? It's the legend versus the legend killer. So, let's get to it. Now, before we fire these two up, let's do a quick walk around and look at the numbers, because while they're in the same class, they get here from two very different directions. First up is the undisputed champ in yellow, the 2025 Cat D6. This thing is an icon. On the scales, a standard configuration comes in at about 48,800 pounds, around 22,130 kg. Under the hood is the Cat C93B engine, pushing out a solid 215 net horsepower. That power runs through a fully automatic four-speed transmission that's designed to be smarter than the operator, constantly optimizing for power and fuel efficiency. CAT claims this generation is up to 20% more fuel efficient than previous models, but the real story here is the tech. It's packed with systems like grade with slope assist, stable blade, and auto carry, all made to automate the tricky parts of the job and make any operator more precise. As for the price, you're looking at a sticker shock of anywhere from $450,000 to over $520,000, depending on the options that you want to pile on. It's a huge investment, but it's backed by the promise of lower maintenance costs and that legendary dealer support. Now let's swing over to the Challenger, the 2025 Komatsu D71. You can see the different design philosophy from a mile away. The first thing you notice is that wild, super slant nose. Komatsu moved the cooling system to the back of the dozer, which lets the hood drop away dramatically. Now, this isn't just for looks. It's all about giving the operator an unmatched view. Weight-wise, it's actually a bit heavier than the Cat in most common configurations, tipping the scales at around 51,000 pounds, about 23,100 kg. But here's where it gets interesting. The Komatsu engine puts out more raw power, rated at a very healthy 240 gross horsepower, about 237 net horsepower. So it's a slightly heavier machine with more horses under the hood. It gives the operator a choice with three distinct modes of eco, power, and high, letting you match the machine's response to the job. Price-wise, the D71 is right there with the cat, typically landing in the mid to high 400,000s, making it a competitive but still serious investment. The stage is set. The Cat is the tech-heavy machine promising automated efficiency. The Komatsu is the more powerful, heavier machine focused on giving the operator a better view and more direct control. So, enough talk. Let's see how that feels from the driver's seat. We're kicking things off with what might be the single biggest complaint from dozer operators everywhere, not being able to see the corners of your blade. For years, we've just accepted that you have to lean forward, crane your neck, and pretty much guess where your edges are. Well, this is where the Komatsu D71 rewrites the rules. I'm climbing into the Komatsu first, and I've got to be honest, the moment you sit down, it's a revelation. That's not an exaggeration either. The super slant nose design is a true game changer. Looking out, there's no big blocky radiator blocking my view looking straight down at the dirt right in front of the blade. And the corners? 
I can see both of them perfectly without leaning or stretching. From a normal, comfortable seated position, I can see the left corner and the right corner of my blade. You just don't get that in other dozers this size. Moving the radiator to the back is such a simple idea, but the effect it has on operator confidence is huge. You feel instantly connected to the work. You're not guessing, you're actually seeing. That takes a ton of stress out of finish grading or working near utilities. For all the talk about tech making work easier, this fundamental design choice might be one of the best operator aids I've seen in years. All right, now in the spirit of fairness, let's hop in the cab. When you climb into the D6, you're greeted by a world-class cab. It's modern, comfortable, and CAT has definitely worked on visibility. They say it has 15% more glass area and you can feel it. The windows are massive and the integrated HD rear view camera gives you a great sense of what's behind you. But after sitting in the Komatsu, the difference up front is night and day. That classic high drive cat architecture, as tough as it is, means you've got a hood and radiator squarely in your line of sight. Can I see my blade? Yes. But can I see both corners as easily as I could in the Komatsu? Not a chance. To see that far corner, I have to do the classic operator lean. It's what we're all used to and CAD has done a good job trying to work around it, but it's a compromise that's baked into the machine design. The view is good, very good even, but the Komatsu view is simply on another level. For the first critical round, the test of pure unadulterated visibility, the winner is clear and it's not even a contest. The Komatsu D71 takes it, hands down. That slant nose isn't a gimmick, it's a fundamental redesign that solves a problem operators have been complaining about for decades. Now, visibility matters, but a dozer's main job is to move dirt. For this round, we have a dense pile of compacted earth and clay, nasty stuff that will put the power and brains of these machines to the test. I'm starting in the Komatsu D71 again. With its 237 net horsepower and hydrostatic transmission, the feeling is one of smooth, instant power. There are no clunky gear shifts, the power to the tracks is just seamless and constant. I'll start in power mode. As I push into the pile, the machine just doesn't care. The engine RPMs stay high and it digs in, filling the blade without bogging down. The HST system is fantastic here, constantly adjusting to the load and delivering constant power, even while turning under load. It feels incredibly responsive, almost nimble, like a smaller dozer, despite its weight. The balance is excellent, putting power to the ground without a ton of track slip. Now I'll pop it into high mode for a long push. The speed picks up and it carries the load beautifully. For a final grading pass, I'll knock it down to eco mode. You can feel the machine relax to save fuel, but it's still perfectly capable. It's a machine that rewards a skilled operator with phenomenal performance. Now it's time for the CAT D6 and its famous tech package. Dropping into the same pile, the 215 horsepower and 4-speed auto transmission feel different. It's that classic CAT grunt, strong, planted, and relentless. The dozer feels incredibly stable. As I push, the transmission shifts automatically and it's buttery smooth, always trying to keep the engine in its most efficient power band. You can feel the machine actually thinking, but now for the magic. First, I'm turning on Stable Blade. This feature uses sensors to automatically adjust the blade, counteracting the machine's tendency to bounce over rough ground. The goal is a smoother grade with less effort from me. As I make a grading pass, you can feel it working, damping out the bumps and leaving a noticeably smoother finish without me having to constantly work the joystick. For a newer operator, this is a huge advantage. Next up is Auto Carry. I turn it on and push hard into the pile. Auto carry is designed to automatically lift the blade just enough to prevent track slip while keeping the blade as full as possible. As the tracks start to labor, I can feel the system subtly lift the blade, maintaining momentum. Caterpillar says this boosts productivity and you can see why. It automates a technique that seasoned pros spend years perfecting, helping you move material with less fuel and undercarriage wear. So who wins this round? It's tough because they're both brilliant in opposite ways. The Komatsu offers raw, intoxicating power and control. It feels like a true operator's machine where your skill directly translates to performance. The Cat, on the other hand, is a technological marvel. 
Features like stable blade and auto carry actually work and can make a good operator great and a great operator more efficient. For the sheer fun of pushing dirt and feeling totally connected, the Komatsu is hard to beat, but for relentless automated efficiency that gets the job done pass after pass, the Cat is in its own league. This rounds a draw, a perfect example of two opposing but brilliant engineering philosophies. Now, pushing power and smart tech are crucial, but what about the machine you have to live in for 10 or 12 hours a day, every day? This round is all about the operator experience, comfort, noise, and the all-important fatigue factor. I'm climbing back into the Komatsu D71, and the first thing I do is shut the door. The world just goes quiet. It is astounding how silent this cab is. Komatsu clearly poured resources into sound deadening and a pressurized cab that seals out not just dust, but noise. You can have a conversation at a normal level and you can actually hear the radio. It's almost unnervingly quiet for a dozer. This isn't just a perk, it's a health and safety feature. Lower noise levels dramatically cut down on operator fatigue over a long shift. The cab itself is huge, the air ride seat is top notch, and the controls are laid out perfectly, but it's the quiet that defines the experience. After hours on the job, the lack of a constant engine drone makes a world of difference to your well-being. Now over to the Cat D6. And let me be clear, this is a fantastic cabin. It's a massive improvement over older models. It's roomy, the seat is great, and the climate control is perfect. Caterpillar has worked hard to cut down on noise, and it's way quieter than its predecessors. The ergonomic joysticks and the big 10-inch touchscreen are clear and easy to use. You could absolutely spend a long day in here and be completely comfortable. However, coming directly from the tomb-like silence of the Komatsu, the Cat Cab is noticeably louder. You hear more of the engine, more of the hydraulics, more of the job site outside. It's not loud by any traditional standard, but in a head-to-head -head test, the difference is undeniable. It's the difference between a quiet office and a library. Both are quiet, but one is on another plane entirely. That extra bit of ambient noise, hour after hour, really adds up. While Cat has built a top-tier operator station, Komatsu has built a sanctuary. For the machine I'd rather call my office 50 hours a week, the choice is easy. The Komatsu D71 wins the operator experience round. That intense focus on eliminating noise and vibration paired with that incredible visibility creates an environment that's just less tiring and a much more pleasant place to be. All right, the sun's getting low, the dirt is moved, and it's time to make the call. We've put these two mid-sized titans through their paces, testing them on what really matters to owners and operators, so it's time to line them up and pick a winner. Let's recap. The Caterpillar D6 is the undisputed champion of tech. It's a smart dozer in every sense of the word. The automation features like auto carry and stable blade are brilliant. They genuinely make the job easier and more efficient, especially for operators with less seat time. The powertrain is a marvel of efficiency and it's all backed by the legendary cat dealer network, which is a deciding factor for many. It's a machine built with logic, designed to be a profitable and productive business tool. The Komatsu D71, on the other hand, is a masterpiece of operator-focused design. It won the visibility test in a landslide, with a view no competitor can touch right now. It's more powerful on paper and in the dirt. It feels nimble and directly connected to your every move. And in the final test of comfort, its whisper-quiet cab created an environment that was dramatically less fatiguing. It's a machine built from the operator's seat outward, so which one wins? If my only goal was to find the machine with the best tech, the most automation, and the deepest fleet integration, the Cat D6 would be the clear choice. Its technology is seamless, effective, and will absolutely make a job site more productive. But a dozer is more than just a tool. It's an extension of its operator for 10 or 12 hours a day because it's your entire world. And for the machine I'd rather be in all day, every day, the one that feels less like a computer and more like a part of me? Well, today, the win goes to the Komatsu D71. Komatsu tackled the biggest operator complaints of visibility and noise and engineered brilliant fundamental solutions. They've built a machine that is an absolute joy to run. The tech in the cat is incredible, but the fundamental experience in the Komatsu feels revolutionary. 
It's the silent giant for a reason, and today, it stands tall. But that's just my take after a day in the dirt with both of them. This is one of the biggest rivalries in the industry right now, and every operator has an opinion, so I'm turning it over to you. Are you Team Cat or Team Komatsu? Do you put more value on the cutting-edge automation of the D6 or the pure operator-focused experience of the D71? Let us know in the comments section below which one would you take to your job site tomorrow. If you enjoyed this showdown, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss our next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the dirt.